Good morning, everyone, and dear friends and colleagues for uh, EPEC Chikwa International Conference. And this is the 15th years of our meetings. We have been engaging in these projects for more than 15 years, and I myself, as a project overseer of, of this project, very honored to be a keynote speaker for these meetings this year. I would like to talk about the case of reforms in schools and higher education, which focus on computational thinking this year. Uh, in fact, we uh, have been focusing on thinking skills in Thailand for more than 20 years. In 1999, we launched a new education act, and it focused on, on reforms the learning process. During that time, I just got back from, from Japan and, and, and tried to improve the situation in the school's levels. Luckily, in, during the last 15 years, we worked with the University of Tsukuba and also a number of, of APEC member economy to launch a very important project is APEC Lesson Studies which focus on introducing innovation for teaching mathematics in the schools, especially focus on, on, on mathematical thinking. Then after 15 years, we, we, we launched a new project, project which is focus on a very important skill and competency in the digital society and as we discussed two years ago we focus on on computational thinking in these projects uh, is this computational thinking is news for us in fact is it not as leibniz has put it this way the only way to rectify our reasoning is to mix them as tangible as those of the mathematicians, so that we can find our errors at a grant. And when there are disputes among persons, we can simply say, and let us calculate without further ado to see who is right. Or we, this means decomposing arguments in terms of thousands of simple units which can be recombined and thus able to be expressed and performed as mechanical computational. This is 300 years, 300 years ago, this Linux put it this way. We just recently at the beginnings of this 21st century, computational thinking is considered as the thought process involving in formulating a problem and expressing its solutions in such a way that a computer, either human or machines, can effectively carry it out. Or more recently, as Toti Lams had put it, computational thinking is understood as a problem-solving paradigm of mathematizing a problem in such a way that the computer can execute it. So in this way, computational thinking is a very powerful for problem solving. And these thinking skills or competencies can be developed through problem solving. The challenge is how to design these computational thinking in the curriculum. And in this project, 
we invite curriculum specialist from all EPEC member economy to join and to work together to design the curriculum framework models as in these figures and based on these curriculum framework models every economy have been challenging to design their own curriculum in the senior high schools year before last year and last year we challenged in secondaries and hopefully next year we challenge in, in elementary schools levels we don't have a curriculum for university levels so in my university Konkan University try developed a courses that incorporate the computational thinking in the general education. Now we have set a committee in order to, de to design two courses. It takes six credit for every newcomer come to Konkan University in the next academic years. So in these two courses, the first course will focus on computational thinking and statistical thinking. It will take three credits. And on top of this, another courses will focus on ABCD or artificial intelligence, blockchains, and crowd computing, and big data, which is also very important in this digital society. This is a very big challenge for our university that more than eight thousands of first year students have to take this course and hopefully we after we implementing these two courses for general education in the programs in the university we can bring back our experience to share in our next meetings. Thank you very much for your attention.